Hey everyone, welcome back to Gadgets Pod. Tried and tested. Today, we're unboxing and setting up an awesome add on for the Raspberry Pi 5, the POEM.2 hat plus expansion board. This board is all about simplifying your setup and reducing clutter. With power over Ethernet, you only need one cable to deliver both power and internet, eliminating the need for extra wires. Plus, it supports high speed NVMe SSDs giving your Raspberry Pi a huge boost in performance. Whether you're into smart home projects, servers, or just want a neat and efficient Pi setup, this hat is a game changer. Let's get started. Welcome to Gadgets Pod, where every review is backed by real use and tested insights. From smart tech to the latest gadgets, we bring you hands-on reviews you can trust. This is Gadgets Pod, tried and tested. Let's start with the unboxing first. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, you'll find the purchase link in the description below. Let's see what's inside the box and check out everything that comes with the POEM.2 hat plus expansion board. Right at the top, we have the heatsink sticker set, which helps improve thermal conductivity for efficient heat dissipation. Next, we have the mounting material designed to securely attach the hat plus to your Raspberry Pi 5. This includes screws and spacers to make installation seamless. Here's the aluminum heatsink, which pairs with the fan to provide robust heat dissipation, keeping your Raspberry Pi running cool even under heavy workloads. And finally, we have the PCIe to M.2 SSD hat plus with PoE. Along with this, we also get a 40 mm connecting cable strip, which connects the hat plus to the 16 pin PCIe connector of the Raspberry Pi 5. The board is specially developed for the Raspberry Pi 5 and uses the 16-pin PCIe connection, which enables a smooth connection and high transfer rates. You can also connect additional hats via the 40-pin GPIO header. The PoE function offers you both power supply and network connection via just one cable, which makes the setup clear and efficient. That's all the contents of the box. Now that the unboxing is complete, let's dive into its key features. Let's take a closer look at the POEM.2 Hat Plus and its features. This expansion board is designed specifically for the Raspberry Pi 5 and supports the IEEE 802.3AF AE PoE network standard. This means you can deliver both power and a stable network connection to your Pi using just a single cable, reducing cable clutter significantly. It's compatible exclusively with the Raspberry Pi 5, and unfortunately, it does not work with older models like the Pi 4B or Pi 3B+. The board also supports M.2 NVMe SSDs in 2230 and 2242 sizes, enabling high-speed read and write operations for faster performance. Its efficient cooling system includes an active fan and aluminum heat sinks for optimal heat dissipation. For powering additional devices, the board offers both 5V, up to 4.5A, and 12V, up to 2A, power outputs through the GPIO header. One of the standout features of this board is the ability to boot directly from the SSD, making it a great choice for high-performance setups. It also supports PCIe Gen 2 and Gen 3 transfer modes for fast data throughput. The two LED indicators on the board make it easy to monitor the operating status and quickly visualize the working condition. Installing the board is a breeze. Simply connect it via the 16-pin PCIe connector of the Raspberry Pi 5 for stable and fast data transfer. Now, let's get started with the setup. We'll begin by preparing the Raspberry Pi 5 with the heatsink to ensure proper cooling. First, we'll apply the sticky heatsink stickers. Place them on the processor, RAM, and power chip. These stickers will improve heat conductivity and help keep the components cool under load. Next, position the aluminum heat sink over the stickers and press it firmly to secure it in place. Make sure the push lock connectors are properly locked in place. Before attaching the hat, we first need to connect the active cooling fan. Locate the 4-pin fan connector on the Raspberry Pi 5. It's positioned in the upper right corner of the board between the 40-pin GPIO header and the USB 2.0 ports. Plug the fan connector into this port to ensure efficient cooling control. Once the fan is connected, align the POEM.2 hat plus with the 40-pin GPIO header and gently press it down until it's firmly seated. This establishes a secure connection between the hat and the Raspberry Pi. After attaching the hat, 
use the provided mounting screws to firmly secure it in place. This ensures a stable setup and prevents any movement during operation. Now using the provided 40mm connecting cable strip, attach one end to the 16-pin PCIe connector on the Raspberry Pi 5 and the other end to the hat. Insert the ribbon cable into the slot on the M.2 Hat Plus. Lift the ribbon cable holder from both sides, then insert the cable with the copper contact points facing up. With the ribbon cable fully and evenly inserted into the port, push the cable holder down from both sides to secure the ribbon cable firmly in place. Make sure both ends are firmly connected for a stable and high-speed link. Finally, let's test the setup. Connect the Raspberry Pi to a monitor using an HDMI cable. Then, connect an Ethernet cable and plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into a PoE switch capable of providing power over Ethernet. Make sure the PoE switch is properly configured to deliver power. Ensure that a micro SD card is inserted into the Raspberry Pi 5 before connecting the PoE cable. Once connected, you'll notice the indicator lights on both the Raspberry Pi and the PoEM.2 hat plus blinking. This confirms that the power and network connections are established. Shortly after, the display on the monitor verifies that the Raspberry Pi 5 is powered up and functioning correctly. Success! And there you have it. The PoEM.2 hat plus is installed, powered up, and ready to enhance your Raspberry Pi 5 experience. That wraps up today's video on unboxing and setting up the PoEM.2 Hat Plus for the Raspberry Pi 5. In our next video, we'll take it a step further by installing an M.2 NVMe SSD drive on this hat and configuring the Raspberry Pi to boot directly from the SSD. So, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to GadgetsPod for more in-depth Raspberry Pi content and hands-on tech reviews. See you in the next one. His is Gadgets Pod, tried and tested.